Okay, um, now we will cover IQ uh, mismatch impairment uh, and their effect on EVM. So when we talk about I and Q mismatch, we, we have two errors that we, uh, we can consider. One of them is the uh, amplitude error and the other one is the uh, phase error. When we talk about amplitude error, uh, we talk about uh, I and Q uh, channels being amplified with a slightly different uh, transfer function or with a slightly different gain, for example. And so if we have a slightly different gain on I and Q, the original sub-symbol will be shifted. Uh, in a way that will reflect this difference in gain and uh, uh, of course this creates an error that uh, will need to be studied and uh, then compensated in, uh, in uh, baseband uh, uh, or digital processing and uh, as we mentioned before there may be a shift also in the theoretically 90 degree um, uh, phase difference of the I and Q uh, symbols. So we um, uh, we generate the constellation plan by orthogonal I and Q uh, amplitudes. However due to different uh, uh, transfer functions or other impairments, um, these two axes may be not exactly 90, 90 degrees uh, uh, relative to each other, but a different phase uh, that is not exactly 90 degrees. And this different phase uh, will also um, translate into an impairment in the location of the uh, of the ideal subsymbol and uh, again we can learn this and um, and try to compensate for it in uh, in uh, processing of course the best thing is not to have all these impairments but to a certain degree we will always have to to deal with them it's it's impossible to uh, to uh, build a a transmitter or receiver that is wideband to include uh, many uh, sub-symbols over a wide bandwidth and uh, maintain the exact 90 degrees between I and Q all over uh, uh, the bandwidth. So we will have to, to deal with some inaccuracies and then to compensate them.